still, you gotta pull apart, shake it her out, you know? <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah! I did it! He did it! Oh, what, what? <gasps> I didn't know it did that. Call it three, four, five method. Three, four, five method. You sit here, you run one line, and to get it square where it's a complete 90 degree, you take and measure off where it back. Uh, you can either do three inches or four inches. It don't matter which way. But uh, I just did four this way since it was longer. And to get this line, you would come back up from this point three inches, which is right here. And then you measure from that four mark which is about right there right in front of your foot okay back to this one it should come out five inches okay and that's how you tell if it's square so if it's not then it's not square you mean feet you're saying inches oh right. well i meant feet so you three measure feet, three you feet measure one way four feet the you other. measure four feet one way three, three feet, feet the other. other and then mark both points and across should be five that feet. should be five feet and that's how you know it's a square. Uh, square okay so is this the layout for the rabbit colony then pretty much so this is the length and this is the width i kind of figured it kind of looks square with the driveway well, okay. this way so hey are you going to come say hey friends ah. do you want to come say hey friends no okay I can't hey friends how are y'all doing today Today on our homestead, we are getting started on our rabbit colony build. We're super excited to be able to get our breeder rabbits eventually out of their rabbit tractors and into a colony setting. If you've not been following our meat rabbit journey, our two does come together and they have always been together. So we've kept them together in their rabbit tractor and they have done wonderful. They cuddle up in a nest box together with the babies to stay warm and they're just really great with all the babies running around and I love being able to see them together. I much prefer having them together than to have our Buck had Barry by himself. He just looks so sad compared to them. So my goal is to have a rabbit colony where we can keep our breeders and our babies until they get old enough that we have to worry about them breeding back to their moms. They'll be separated into rabbit tractors to finish growing out until we butcher them. But this will give them a chance to grow up in a little colony setting together and us get to be able to watch all the rabbit fun that they have. So there's one thing about rabbit colonies that may be a little difficult in their construction. And that's because since we're in the south and we have a lot of hot heat, rabbits don't like that. They prefer to stay cool. And one way they keep cool is they like to dig in the dirt so they can use the cool earth to cool their body temperature down. If you have rabbits on the ground and they dig, there's a good chance they're gonna be able to dig out of your rabbit colony. So to be able to fix this and be able to have them where they can dig and stay cool. We have to dig down a foot so that we can put wire down and then fill dirt back in so that they will have an area where they can dig and play in the dirt. This will also give us a chance to be able to, to put in man-made burrows and cover them with dirt to keep them cool, especially in the summers. Kenneth is getting it all measured out and getting it laid out and then we will get to digging. So how far is that? 16. 16 feet. So how big are you doing it? 16 by what? So it's going to be 16 by 8 feet. Well, what I would do is go ahead and do all your corners, your center post. I can put the door post in later because I need to figure out exactly what my measurement is because these are not exactly a 4 by 4 post. So. Okay. Um, but I would dig all your posts out and then get everything level, tie in the top parts. What do you mean tie in? like you're bracing everything for your roof oh, okay gotcha. and then dig out around that way your posts are there you know? okay but the post is going to have to be level across the top make sense yes you going to dig with this post tall digger sir mm -mm. that's what i got you for oh no oh yeah 
I need to see them I muscles told, in I told, action, I man. I told you I was going to build them muscles up. <laughs> you couldn't do a pull-up, so. I can't do a pull-up. This is how we build muscles. That's a different muscle than doing a pull-up. Oh, no. It's still, you got to pull apart. Shake it out, you know. <laughs> get on it. You get on it, doggone it. Put your gloves. I'm about to put you to work. All right, I'm going to get my gloves. It's about time. I expect two post holes dug before I get back. Chill. Thing, but I'm pretty awesome at this. It's like getting really wet. Yeah. Uh oh, did I go over? I made it three feet. I need it. Oh. But you know what? What? That's a good sign. Means I can drive a shallow well. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be it's like there's literally water standing yeah. in the bottom of it. That is crazy. It's crazy. So in South Carolina, our water table is like super high. I think we're a hundred feet above sea level here where we're at. I just dug three feet down to be able to put our post in and the hole is filling up full of water. Kenneth says that's a good thing because that means we can dig a shallow well. We're talking about putting a shallow well in as a backup to our rainwater catchment and the pond we're digging. Just because we like to have redundant systems in place. Part of off-grid life is always having a backup to your backup to your backup. But three feet down and I've basically hit water. That's crazy. Mm. Do y'all see the water at the bottom of this well? Let me try to zoom in. At the bottom of this well. I mean, at the bottom of this hole. You want me to just pull the pole out for you? Yeah, hey, pull the pole out for me. Oh, oh yeah, look at that pole. Look at all that water. It is crazy. What's out? Several inches thick. It is totally filling up this hole. Well, come on. Hurry up. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. My little helper over here. I'm working it. 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 He's working it, Eddie. Done? You done? No, I'm not done. Alright, are we still level? Uh, level enough. Okay. I just want to take a moment and stop and say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel. We hit 500 subscribers today. My birthday is in a week and that was the best birthday present. If you are subscribed to our channel, thank you. 
you hit that subscribe button may seem like no big deal to you, but to the YouTube creator on the other end, it means so much. So, just thank you. Y'all are awesome. I think I hit a root. There's a root right there. See it? Right there. Right there. You gonna see it? Mm -hmm. See that white? That's a root. Yeah. So mama's trying to make it go through. Your turn. Break that root. Because I need you to break that root. It's supposed to be your job. It's the husband's job, job to break the root. It's supposed to be your job. Build the muscles, job. remember? Husband's job to break the root. Center valves, you just don't remember them. I'm going to go back and look and look right at it. Along with, you have to wear my cold feet. I mean the ones that are as cold as a dead person. Yeah. Center valves, I'm telling you. Uh -oh. At least it's going to get you, right? You need help? Okay, Mama's coming. Okay, let's go in. See, like that. Like that. Like that, you got it? See, Daddy, he's just learning to use a shovel so he can help you. Oh, you done made it a whole lot farther. Yeah. Whoa! Wait, you're probably over three feet. Almost. You almost made it to three feet. You got two more feet, or two more inches. Ah. Thank you. Hey, I made it the first 16 inches by myself. Well, That's actually, it. not really, because you hit the, you broke the first root, but. Mm -hmm. Nope, we still got another inch. I don't know what that is, baby. It's B. <gasps> Hey, watch out. <laughs> Fling mud at me again. It fills up with water fast. Oh. <laughs> I need my level. Oh. Declan, can you bring us the red level? Me too. Thank you. Okay, I'm on it. Hold on, Nettie's got a level. level. No, we didn't try. Whoop, whoop. On the first try. I'm going to put this post in. Okay. That way I can level it off this post. Uh-huh. And then once I get this one set, everything's level with it. It's level this way. Level, you know, all other ways. Then we'll go to this one. Okay. And we'll level ah. off this post. Okay. But that, it should be level all the way across or close enough. So it needs seven post holes. Okay. That's why I got seven posts. Gotcha. Because technically it's just six, but I need another one for the door. Two feet, six inches. Ah, I got it. Got it. Three. Ah. Hurry up, I'm filling up water. I think in it. I think in it. Help. Help. Alright, dude, watch the line. 
A yabo. A yabo. Yep, they need to level. You're being a big helper. <laughs> He's leveling. <laughs> hey, he got it going the right direction, though. I'm super proud. Y'all, I probably dug this hole about 20 minutes ago and it's already got over a foot of water in it. Water. What's up? All my hard work. And he just filled it all back in. Because there's so much water in the hole. Give it a minute to soak up. Put it down and step on it. Step on it. Yep. Uh, step it. Got it. Put it in and step on it. Step on it. <laughs> step on it. Oh, good job. Yeah. I did it. He did it. Soak the water up. You made it mud. I made it mud. Right? Hey, you want that? I'll let you do it. Don't hit my line. I will. I'm sure you will. I'm going to go over here tighten the crap back it's up. Stuck. It's stuck. What did you do? Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's I mean, it is. What fell, baby? You have to. Ah, oh, man. Okay, day two of working on this rabbit colony. It looks like the rain is going to hold off for a couple of hours. So, we're going to get as much as we can done. I brought the umbrella out so if it starts to rain, I can cover y'all up and get you inside to safety. We're going to work as long as we can though. Because we have rain forecasted for the entire day today and snow forecasted for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the weather. So, we're going to get as much done as we can today while we can. Currently, we are starting with the five posts in. We still need to put the back post in and then another post for the door up here. While we wait on Kenneth to go get the measuring tape, I just want to explain to y'all what's going on here. So the door for the rabbit colony will be right here. The RV is going to be right here. So, and the house is going to be over this way. This way is my driveway. So the door will be lined up Mommy, with the driveway. Mommy. Mommy. Okay, buddy. Somebody's already digging in the dirt. The rabbit colony will have a roof that co covers half of it, and the other half will be left open so sunlight can get in. And we'll have rain catchment systems set up on the roof so that it can collect its own rainwater to, to water the rabbits. And then under that roof as well, we are going to have a burrow system dug into the ground so the rabbits can burrow. This will make them feel a lot safer and a lot more natural when they're having their babies. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll come over here. 
there so you're not in Eddie's way. Come over here. All right. Flip. See it? Put your foot right here. Push. You did it. All right, you try it again. Put your foot right there. before we start pulling up water. <laughs> Man, my arms are feeling it from yesterday. We've literally only been digging, according to the camera, less than 15 minutes. <laughs> the hole's already starting to fill up full of water. We should have no problem digging a well, though. Except for the clay. But I hear the clay is good for lining a pond, so maybe we'll have a good pond. Coming in, you might not be able to dig a pond. Probably end up being filling up before you got it. Yeah, we, we'd have to run a bulldozer for that one. Uh, it'll be a race against the water. Hold on, dude. Thank you. That was a big help. We got to figure out where we're putting our door. Yeah. Yeah. Where we're going to put our door. Oh, oh, oh. what? What? <gasps> I didn't know it did that. Ooh. I can make y'all taller. It's taller? I didn't know it did that. That was a complete accident. Go, go. Go. What do you think, bud? Door right here? Door right here. You think the door should go right here? Go right here. See you. See me. See you. See me. Don't put it over your mouth, okay? You won't be able to breathe. Hey, not over your mouth. I don't have a big old pile of dirt here or anything. I got some more. You got some more? Okay. Okay friends, so we are at a stopping point. All seven posts are in the ground now. It's supposed to rain today and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we're kind of at a standstill. The next step would be Kenneth still needs to mill his lumber that we're gonna make our rafters out of for the roof. And we still need to dig down a foot to lay the fencing on the bottom. But we can't do that with the rain that's coming. So we're gonna have to wait a couple days so we get a pretty day to finish the rabbit colony. 
I'm proud of how much we got done. At least all of our posts are in the ground. You ready to say bye, friends? Bye, friends. I need to put this down. Oh. Bye, friends. Say bye, friends. Hi, friends. Bye, friends. Hi, friends. They're they're leaving. Bye, puppies. Bye, bye, friends. Bye, puppies. We'll see you on Monday. See you morning. No, see you Monday. See you morning. See y'all on Monday. <laughs> we will see y'all on Monday at 8 where I'm going to share a few recipes with y'all on different things we've made this week like my pizza, my tuna and couscous, what else we're going to share buddy? Oh homemade biscuits and I might even make some brownies and throw in my mama's brownie recipe. Oh, my brownies. You want some brownies? I want some brownies. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Declan loves the brownies. Oh, it is starting to rain, so we're getting out of here. We'll Bye. see y'all Monday at 8. Bye, Bye friends. Bye, friends. <laughs> Let's get y'all dry.